What's up everybody? Welcome back or to the channel. So today we're going to do another quick and easy but fun modification to the 2016 Street Glide build over here. So what we're going to be doing today is adding a splash of color to it. So I'm going to show you how to install an LED light kit to this touring bike. Now again, a lot of these LED light kits you can buy online for a very affordable cost typically anywhere between $30 and $50. And each one might have different sizes and shapes of the lights. Each one might have different features that are available. But the kit that I got, I got it from Amazon, and it actually has a remote that you can change all of the colors just by having a little remote that you can hook up to your keychain. And it has a brake feature where you can run a light to your brake light. So every time you actually hit your brakes, all of the lights are gonna flash red so that it makes you easier to see at night which is always important when you're riding at night. So without further ado, let's just dive in and let's get this taken care of. Okay, so if we come over here, you'll see this is the kit that I got right here. It's this Nino kit here, it's an RGB LED kit. I got this on Amazon. So as you can see here on the side, it does give you some basic features. It has a four button remote. The remote works up to around 100 feet. We'll have to test that. It has 18 different color options. It has four intelligent modes and it's IP65 waterproof rated. Now, once you open it up, you're gonna have your installation guide here, which is honestly very simple, guys. It has a red wire that goes to your positive. It has a black wire that goes to your negative. And it's going to have some sort of a blue wire or some other color wire that you're going to tap right into your brake light wire. So again, very simple and easy. Okay, open it up. You have your power module right here, which is very slim, by the way. I will say that. So as you see here, you have a fuse. Here's your keychain remote, okay, which is really nice. It looks like a key fob. So again, this is a really nice remote. And you're going to have a battery for the remote. You have all of your LED light strips right here, which again are very nice. They got the 3M tape on the back. Okay, they're not that big and bulky to where they're gonna really be in the way. Now again, some light strips are long and skinny. This is very short and a little wider. But again, these should be small enough to hide on your bike. And you're gonna see here, it has some of your wire extension wires here. It has more over here. So you have actually a lot of wire extensions in different lengths, depending on where you're gonna plug these in at. Comes with some zip ties. Looks like it has a backup battery. And probably some additional sticky tape, depending on if you're gonna mount this module somewhere or not, because the sticky tape will go right to that. Okay, so that's everything that comes with the kit. As you can see here, you're gonna have eight lights. Now, pretty much seven of them are going to have dual sided harnesses okay and then the last one is going to have a, a termination point to where it's only got one harness because that'll be your termination light there that way you don't have to worry about lights hanging out that you have to tape up or so which a lot of cheaper light kits have that they're pretty much just extensions that stick off the back and then you have to tape them up out of the way i believe that bike might have one somewhere i don't remember where but this kit here looks to be pretty easy and pretty simple again i actually like how the wires are nice and flat and the harnesses look pretty good so what we're going to have to do to try to get this installed a couple things we're going to need to do is the easiest is going to take off your seats and take off your side fairing take off your Saddlebags, um, some people actually find it easy to take off their tank, but I'm not gonna deal with taking off the tank because that's a little bit more of a headache to do. Um, I'm gonna try to hide these lights throughout the bike without taking the tank off. So to make everything pretty simple and easy, I'm just gonna take the seats off and take the saddlebags off, and that should give me a little bit of room to work with when mounting these lights. So without further ado, let's just jump in and get this taken care of. Okay, so we are back. So I went ahead and I took the saddlebags off and I got the seat off. Now, as you can see here, this is where your ECM is sitting. So depending on which year model bike you have, it might be clipped in differently. But this one here pretty much just pops out of the way and you can set it out of the way like that. All right, okay. Then you're gonna have typically two bolts right here, but I've already took mine out. So that way this top cover pops right off from your battery. Now there are gonna be two harnesses here. You're pretty much just gonna pop this one off here and plug that. This one here, this black harness here is pretty much gonna go to your brake light. 
The gray one here is pretty much gonna go to your fuel. So just go ahead, disconnect those two harnesses, pop off this top battery cover, and then you'll have access to your positive and negative terminals. So once we have that figured out, then we can start diving in and figure out where we're gonna place all of these lights. Okay, real quick, when you're unplugging your harnesses here, sometimes they're zip tied to the bike to keep them out of the way. You can just go ahead and cut those zip ties. That way you can move all of this out of the way. Just remember that when you're putting it all back together to put that zip tie back on. Okay, and one thing I would recommend is if you happen to have any of these types of fittings here that you can go ahead and splice on to the end of your power and ground, I would definitely try to recommend that. And just get one of these fittings that are big enough just to go over the bolt that goes to your power and ground on your battery, which is what I've done so far. So I already had these laying around. That'll make installing this a lot more secure. And then you can just go ahead and use one of these uh, clamshell type clamps here for when you're attaching your wire to your brake light. That's all you need to do there. You don't need to splice in or cut your factory harness for your brake light. Just go ahead and tap in with one of these for your brake light wire that's coming off the module. So now that we have a general idea of how we're gonna wire that all up, again, I already have everything taken off over here. So I have full access to my battery terminals. We'll be good to go. So now all I have to do is go over the bike and figure out where I'm gonna actually mount these. Now, typically what you wanna do is get like an alcohol swab or just put a little bit of alcohol on a rubbing pad and just clean the area on the bike that you're gonna be applying these 3M tape strips just to make sure they adhere really well. So let me go ahead and figure out where I'm gonna place all these lights and then we'll be right back. Okay, so we are back. Now let me just show you quickly how I ran all the wires. I just did a test run for now. So I mounted the control module right here with the 3M tape right inside this little pocket. Then I have my wires coming behind there that I'll actually tie into the battery and to my uh, brake light wire over here. Now. From the module, keep in mind, there are three different lengths of cables. There's a short length, a medium length, and a long length. So you're gonna have to play around to see which ones work best. That's why I do a test fit like this. So the first lead that comes off the module, I ran to this light right here, which is gonna get taped right up under here behind the engine. And then I have, I believe, a medium length cable coming from here behind the bike, putting a light right here, which I'm going to tape underneath the saddlebag bar. And then I might just add a zip tie there just to be safe. And then I believe I have another medium cable coming from this light that's routed back the same way underneath to here, which I'm gonna to mount to the inside of the frame, not the bottom because, it'll, if, because if you ever use a bottom jack, it'll get messed up. So I have it mounted up here behind the bottom of the frame so you won't even see it. Then I have a medium cable coming from that one running up here to this light. Ah, I think it fell. To this light right here, which I will mount to up underneath the frame here to face down on the engine. And then I have a cable coming from that light that's gonna come down and put a light into the front fender on this side. Then I have another cable that comes back out, up behind the wiring, back down here to where I can put another light on this side of the fender. And then I have a cable coming from that light back up. Then it's gonna come down under the bike. And then I'll put another light under the bike on the inside of the frame. Again, tucking all my wires out of the way. And then I'll have, I believe, a short cable coming from there, running up so I could put my last and final light underneath this crash bar over here. So now that I have a general idea of where I'm gonna be locating all eight of my lights, now I can go back through, use a little alcohol swab, clean off all those areas, stick the lights on, zip tie everything up. Once everything's good, then I could just hook up my battery. Okay, so we are back and I have everything pretty much done and wired up where I wanted them. So again, I have the first light mounted right up here. Again, everything's taped and zip tied out of the way. I just have to make a couple final adjustments, but I have it come down over here and I have this zip tied here. And then the extension wire comes off of that, zip tied back through the bike. Everything comes up underneath. You can't see anything. 
okay? Because I have everything zip tied and stuck underneath. Comes back up. Everything here, I gotta clean this little bit of wiring up right here, but I have it stuck up under the frame. I have everything cleaned up and stuck up under the wheels on the opposite side. As you can see here, everything's nice and clean. I have the wire comes up under the fender, taped down the side of the frame. I have everything taped up real good so it's out of the way and you can't see it. It comes up underneath here. I have the wire ran behind the saddlebag, zip tied, and it ends right there. So all of my lights are now ran throughout the bike. Everything's mounted, zip tied, stuck to the bike and everything comes right here to the actual controller. So all I have to do now is hook up my power, which is the red, the ground, which is the black, my brake light, which is the white, get that all mounted in, and then we'll be pretty much done to test them to make sure they work. As long as they work, we'll start putting the bike back together. Okay, so we got everything hooked up. And as you can see here, I have my positive hooked up to the positive terminal. I have the negative, or the ground hooked up to the negative side of the battery. I took my white wire, which is the brake light wire, and I found tapping it into this blue wire here that has more of an orange or pink stripe works. I tried this one with the red, but it's hard to tell the colors unless you have really good eyes. But I found that this one here with the lighter orange or pink purple color, whatever color that is, my eyes don't really see it that well, but that's the color I used there, not the one with the red, because that didn't work. So I hooked it up there and everything works. So here we go, take our remote. Now this red button here, that's gonna turn them on, watch. So now the lights turn on, everything's lit up. So A is gonna change the colors. So I can go here, change it to blue, now they're not flickering in real time. That's just because the LEDs are flickering in the camera. So you have, keep hitting A and you could cycle through all of the different colors, okay? Now what's cool is once you go into a different color, say blue, now B on the remote is gonna change it to a, like a flashing light. So again, you could change the, whatever color you're on, you hit B, that changes it to flashing. C changes it to gradient. So it actually will kind of like pulse real slow on and off. But if you just leave it on A, that's just a solid color. Now here's what's kind of cool is, again, the remote's real nice. You can just keep up on your dash or hanging off your handlebars or in, if you have any kind of storage up here. Um, the remote's really, really handy. Now what's cool is, check this out. Turn your bike on. Now because we have the safety light hooked up to the brake light, now no matter what color you happen to be on, if you're riding with color, hit the brake, Everything goes red. You hit the handbrake here, everything goes red. So as you can see here, so it's a safety feature so that if you're running your lights at night, no matter what color you're running, as soon as you hit your brake, the lights are gonna automatically turn red. That way you're turning your entire bike into a brake light instead of just relying on a little light in the back. So you're gonna be visible a lot more at night. Now what's really cool is when you turn the lights off, here I'll just hit the red button again. So they're completely turned off. Because I'm still getting some power from the brake light, now watch this. They're turned off. So now, you've basically turned your entire bike into a brake light, which I think is pretty cool too. So if you're driving at night, you're gonna be definitely seen a lot better with this type of setup. Okay, so now that I know that everything is working and functioning as it should, I'm gonna tape up a couple more of the wires over here, and then I'm gonna put everything back together. So I'll be right back in a minute. Okay, we are done. The bike is put back together. So let's just hit the remote and see how it turns out. Now again, I shut the door and I shut the lights off, but it is still bright outside, so this is not gonna give you the best representation, but let's give it a try. There you go. So I got the front wheel lit up. I got a little bit of the engine lit up. I got the bottom of the bike lit up pretty well. So it's gonna have a nice glow to it. Let's check the other side. There you go. That's what it's gonna look like. Switch the colors out. Green, yellow, like a teal, orange, 
purplish pink, okay, a lighter green, blue, another teal. Again, dark blue. There's a lot of cool colors to this. The last one is just going to be more of a rotational color. There you go. So there you go. So everything works good. If you want it to blink, hit B. Okay. If you want it to pulse, hit C. Everything will pulse. Again, we're just going to go back to a solid color. There you go. And if you hit the brake, everything turns red. Okay. So it's all done there. So again, everything turned out awesome. The remote is super awesome. And again, to turn it off, just hit the red button at the bottom. Everything turns off. Now again, when your bike's running with the lights off, you can still hit your brakes and they still function as brake lights. So there you go. Okay, so we are in the garage. It's pretty dark outside right now. So as you can see here, the garage is a lot darker. So I'm gonna go ahead and just hit these lights and see how they look in a little bit of a darker situation. So here we go. There you go. Look at that, that's more of a green. Now again, I'm not sure how well these colors are gonna show on my camera, but that's actually more of like a yellow. It's kind of more, eh, it's more whitish. That's more of a teal. There's like a purplish. Again, as you can see, you can go through these colors, that's actually more white. So again, that looks awesome. This right here is the rotational color. So it's just gonna rotate through all the colors. So again, once you get a color you like, let's say you like red, you can hit the second button and make it flash. You can hit the third button and make it gradient, which is pretty cool. So there's blue again. Then if you wanna turn it off, you hit the bottom button, boom, completely off. Want it back on, boom, there you go. So again, pretty awesome. Now let's go ahead and try the brake feature. Okay. So I'm right next to the bike. So let's give the brakes a pull and see what they look like. So again, right now it's showing blue. Let's hit the brake. See, everything goes right to red. So anytime you hit a brake, it's gonna go straight to red to create a brake light. We're gonna hit the top one right here. There you go. So as you can see, the brake feature works out pretty awesome. So again, that's what it looks like in the dark and I'm really happy with this overall. Okay, everybody, so we are done. We finally got everything hooked up, everything zip tied, everything's taped up where it needs to go. Everything's hooked up to the battery. We tested all the lights. They look great. They function great. I really think the lights look really good, but overall, I like the placement of where I put them all. Everything looks awesome. And I really think it's cool that it has the brake safety feature. So whether the lights are on or off, anytime you hit your brakes, you're gonna have all of your lights are gonna are gonna light up red. So you're basically turning your entire bike into a brake light, which is gonna really help you be seen better at night when you're driving. So that's it. I hope this video helps some of you guys out. Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button, like this video. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And do me a favor, subscribe to the channel because it definitely helps me out and I really do greatly appreciate it. Again, I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you. I truly appreciate you all. Thank you. And as always, see you in the next video.